Patients with the condition microtia could either wear a bone conduction hearing aid attached to a headband or have surgery to implant a screw or magnet into the skull to attach a hearing aid. Ursula Perry shows us a newly FDA approved adhesive device that's changing one girl's journey. 12 year old Story Jackson was born with microtia. Her right internal ear never developed, resulting in the inability to hear from that ear. It wasn't a problem until middle school. She kind of would feel left out like she you know, if she's sitting on this side of the table and her friends are over here talking about something and everyone else is loud, she was always like having to kind of turn her head like what? Story also realized it might someday affect her dream job. One of the things I want to be when I'm older is an orthopedic surgeon. I would have to hear my surroundings and know what's going on for the sake of my patient. So when the Jackson family heard that the ad here became FDA approved in 2018, Story became one of the first 25 people in the country to receive this stick on device. It works by capturing the sounds through the microphone that's um, on the side that it's being worn and it sends those sounds basically through little vibrations through the bones and the skull to the hearing organ itself. Okay. All right, you feel the button there? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and push it for me. When it turned on, I was like, I can't believe I can like I can actually have this. When we got home, she was like tapping her feet on the floor, like listen to that because everything sounds different. At her two week checkup, Story was hearing clearer than ever. Hot dog. Hot dog. The Adhere device attaches to the adapter with adhesive, but that adapter needs to get changed out every three to seven days. It's only been on the market for a few months, but the good news is it may be covered by your insurance. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.